Well, 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 what do we have here? It's been quite some time already and I think I have promised to make a video like this a long, long time ago. Well, here's hoping that it actually works out okay, because I I simply do not know whether that is the case. Hello everyone, it's Actrius here and I welcome you to the final episode of Library of Ruina. After a long time, that is. But I gotta warn you, right from the start, there's not gonna be any gameplay involved in here. Because as it stands, and you might already notice from where we are in this picture, I have finished this game. And it was not my intention to finish the game off, uh, off screen. It was not my intention to not make videos about how I finished the game. I did record. I recorded the fourth and fifth part of the general works realization. I recorded the uh, and uh, this entire thing, and I recorded that thing all in one go. I did all of that in one go, in four separate parts. And then I went over the footage, and everything was corrupted, all four of them. Since then, I had completely uh, rebooted my PC, and with rebooted, I real I seriously mean I completely wiped it and completely reformatted it because it was necessary. Since somehow my PC was not, even though it's a rather new PC, it was somehow made up in a weird way that would not actually work well with my recording software, which I think I've told, said before, but I'm using OBS for these, because of uh, OBS Studio. Because OBS Studio is just very easy to use, and honestly has given me the best results of the past years. And yeah, in, at the end of the day, I finished it. Sadly, without being able to share the process of it. However, I still can give you some kind of rundown as to how I did it. So, let's go ahead and talk about that. I don't have my pages on here anymore except for the Olive, uh, Olivier page. So, <laughs> that's that. I also had... <laughs> oh man, there's so many me memories already flowing through my head. But yeah, first things first, talking about my eternal nemesis, Snow Queen. Um... I only beat that because of one of you guys' comments of the last episode, which gave me the literal recipe to defeat the Snow Queen, because honestly, otherwise I wouldn't have done it. It was something about, um, um, on the lines of using the... It's, it's been a year, so I, I gotta remember it myself. It's all, it was somewhere uh, around, along the lines of using the Ego pages alongside the... I think it was called Madness or Sadness, like the free block, free block dice thing and try and free one at a time and that ended up working for me in the second try I actually did it. Then I went on to the silent girl and it took me once, uh, uh, I, I died once in that reception and then after I actually read it again, like read all the passives again, I just breezed through it no questions asked, it was really funny. And as always in, in the later stages of this game, Mirene and Nikolai have been carrying me so much. I I personally think they're... I, I am not sure how the pages rank, but I'm pretty sure that Mirene and Nikolai are rather up there, but Nikolai maybe not for the reason why I have her up there. <laughs> so, thinking about that, kind of funny, not gonna lie. After that was probably... was probably my... my biggest... oopsie moment, and that was this. Did I tell you that Philip is a very annoying person and very hard to beat all the time? When I got to the distorted reverberation ensemble, I made up four floors. In the end, I only used three. <laughs> I started with Gebra using the... I think I still have those pages, actually. Yeah, I started with Gebra with this setup. Had Gabby with uh, with the page we all know and love. I put Blood Fiendish on her so I can recover more health on her. And uh, well, more strength. So there's a lot of survivability, a lot of damage, and all that comes through with having Gebra, having Red Mist. One of my favorite pages in the game with Kahlo. 
Especially after he got his fourth light. I, I just love focus fire gaming. <laughs> then I have Marina here because I li like buffs. Nikola here because I like buffs. And then there's, uh, then there's the purple tier. Which, I don't know which part of it I use. I think I use guard the most. On top of, I think, pierce and slash. Probably use blunt. Oh, actually I might have used blunt too because I like buffs, but... Yeah, I, I did that. I beat the first phase. It almost killed my entire bard. And then on the, on the second part, on the Asia layer, was it Asia layer? Obria. I always mess these up. I know that it's Asia, Bria, and Xeriev, but I always get them confused. On the second layer with Oswald, um. Oswald, Tanya, and I'm trying to get it from my head. And the puppeteer, Jaehyun? Was his name Jaehyun? I am not good at remembering names for a year. Um, I tried to go Mountain of Corpses with these guys and had Gebra like, actually go really far solo, even though she was already almost dead when I got to there. Then I went for Bina with the most stupid idea ever, which I had, I think, a half a turn off. I actually got the beast. But one turn after, Bina died. And for Bina, I had uh, the classic Bina as Bina. I got a Shao, a, an Esther, funny Eugen with rapid gashes, and fill it with more burn, which was also rather funny to use. Um, yeah. <laughs> I really wanted to meme so hard with the bees, and it, honestly, it would have been so funny if you guys saw it in the video because I was like, "Yeah, I get, I got long arms. Oh god, I got big eyes. Oh shit, I got small beak. Okay, I gotta go for the beast now." <laughs> I, I was so on a one track mind at that point. It, it was so funny. I'm so sorry you couldn't see it. It was, it was honestly a very fun, uh, very fun part. But after all, I died in the end, and I had to go for my final, and I don't quite remember, was it hard? I don't think it was hard. Which I, I said hard, Gabra, Bina. Was it truly hard? Huh, it was hard. So yeah, I got hard with Kim, Gre uh, Kim, Dongwan, Greta, Dennis, and Bayard. And I had to do the entire final of it with those, but it actually went pretty well. Like Argalia, Pluto, and Elena weren't so hard. So I got a on my first try, and everyone told me it was the easiest thing. And especially with Hot's uh, gimmicks with Shyness being no, it wasn't Shyness. With Look of a Day being really easy and strong, obsession making. Uh, racking up so much damage, Cocoon giving me... No, it was not Cocoon. Was it Meal? Uh, yeah, Meal giving me some more su survivability. It was really fun. It was really great. Then I shat my pants here with Xena and Baral. I almost had Roland and uh, Gebra die, but I did manage to uh, beat this first try with nobody dying. Which was really good. But yeah, that is all I can really say from that. Serum W was such a thing that getting hit by Serum W was... <laughs> oh my god, I did not expect that. <laughs> Going through all these stages, uh, through all the floors, and then taking a crap ton of damage. And since it was already some time between me having the last episode and actually finishing the game, starting the final episode gauntlet, <coughs> I was already kind of out of touch with the systems and with how I uh, how I play the game. So I wasn't really playing on my on my uh, on my brightest. But in the end I managed to beat the game and I think No. If there's <coughs> I mean this is already proof of that, but I have unlocked this as basically proof that I did it. But yeah, I am so sorry that I could not um, share these moments with you in Let's Play Variety, because after all, 
it didn't quite work out with my recording software. But what I want to say is, Library of Ruina has been one off, uh, one awesome game, one experience I am really glad I made, and I'm really, uh, I'm really thankful for Red, who you have heard in some of the episodes. I think it wasn't the Hawkmar realization, but I, I invited Red to look with me, where we have the 13 total 300 damage thing, which was really cool. But <coughs> yeah. Really glad, uh, grateful for him, to him, for recommending me to play this game. And honestly, I am some, at some point, looking forward to looking at uh, Limbus Company. I am not going back to Lobotomy Corporation because that's just not my style of game. But I am really curious as to what Project Moon will bring in the future, without like being a huge follower of them. But it's been fun. I had fun with this. So... Yeah. Unfortunately, as I said before, this is all I really have. I can't show you any gameplay, I can't really go in depth more than I did because I just it's just been a year and I've been putting off making this video and then when I was motivated to make it I actually got sick and I had no voice for like two months really. I had a really bad voice. Got sick with first it was just a uh, really bad throat pain and then it was actual corona. Like two weeks later, and it kind of made life really difficult in a way. But in the end, after more than a year, and after many comments, when I think it was NMC who reminded me every three months that I had to make a video, and honestly, thanks to you too, because at some point I almost gave up on making this because I honestly, I've been putting it off for so long, and I've been having issues with both recording software, my my physical and my mental health for so long. I almost dropped making this video at all but thanks to you you are one of the people who gave me the motivation to do it i was able to do it in the end but that's the final curtain the final curtain falls for this awesome game for this awesome let's play even though again this episode is not really an episode it's just a recap for me personally and to have you get my final thoughts on the game and honestly if I had to I, I'm not a fan of rating with numbers but it's probably a 9 out of 10 for me and with that I leave you to it I'm glad you guys joined me on this uh, adventure and I hope I'll see you in the future when I one day make videos again about other stuff and until then I hope you guys have a wonderful day stay ravened <laughs>